Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode where we're going to be explaining something so that makes it easier for you guys. Specifically, we are talking about how to now install FTL mods. Previously, this work was all done using Grognax Mod Manager, but that program has become a bit outdated in recent times, and we've moved on to newer and better things. Specifically, the Slipstream Mod Manager, created by Vati. This is available on the FTL forums at ftlgame.com slash forum in the mods subform, in the mod development subform. I will, of course, put a, post a link in the description to make it easier for you to find, but that is the idea. Now, this is quite nice. It is basically the same thing as Grognax Mod Manager, but written in Java instead of in the original language, which makes it a lot easier for them to update and whatnot, and makes it a little bit easier to get away from all the nasty problems that we were having with Grognax Mod Manager. So, what are we going to do here? Simply enough, you're going to download the most recent version you want, either for Windows or Mac or Linux, they all work quite nicely, and you don't need to download them, or rather extract them, to anywhere in particular, unlike with Grognax Mod Manager, which originally needed to be extracted into the FTL forum, or other FTL game folder specifically, now it can be uploaded wherever you want, just like the later versions of Grognax Mod Manager. So I've downloaded mine to my documents here. We can see we have a nice folder. Inside there's a variety of files. We are going to be doing a couple things here. First of all, put the mods you want in the mods folder. If the mod order is not there, don't worry about it. It'll get generated the first time you run the program. And you can simply run the mod manager. When you do, it will ask you where your files are. If it can't find them itself, you'll have to direct the program to where your FTL uh, original files are, the resources, which would be found in here, resources. That way you'll be able to find what you're looking for and you'll be able to use them as needed. But beyond that, it should work pretty well on its own unless you've moved the file somewhere it's not expecting. From there, it will create a backup. But before it does that, we're going to need to look at something else. If you have previously been running Grognax Mod Manager, there's something very important you need to do before running this new one. You have to make sure that any mods you may have currently installed, you deselect and then click patch. Because if they are selected and currently in the game when you uh, first run the Slipstream Mod Manager, it will include them in its original backups, which is not exactly what we want to have happen. So make sure you unpatch any, any installed mods you may have in there. That will make sure that uh, the Slipstream Mod Manager works as smoothly as possible. From there, we can come back and actually run this thing. It will create your backups and whatnot, and then you have the easy choice of selecting the mods you want that you've put into your mod folder. They have to be, of course, in the .ftl format, and then all you have to do is click patch. It'll sit for a while as it tries to figure out how to install the various things, and then just like the old Grognax mod manager did, it will ask you if you want to run the game. Clicking yes will simply run the game, and there you have it. Your mods are now installed. It works quite nicely. It doesn't have any of the... Uh, nasty problems the other one had, it doesn't have some of the bugs with newer mods that Grognax Mod Manager had, it works just plain well. So there we have it. Our mods are installed, we can check here, we have our old laser, so Captain's Edition installed properly, and problems are solved. So there you go, the solution to all your FTL modding needs. Now you should be able to easily install whatever mods you want to try out, and I hope that this video has proven useful to you. This has been Vanguard of Valor, helping to explain how to install the FTL mods using the new system, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Happy gaming, and bye bye